Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are having an absolutely wonderful day. I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so, so greatly appreciated. Today's reading is going to be for Virgos. This actually is going to be a continuance. Why? Because, you know, I did a reading and I got these two cards that came out into the reading and I actually really wanted to touch on them. We want to get into the feelings, get into your feelings, get into the feelings of someone that's within you your energy okay and I'm dead but I'm getting when I when I got this why I'm wanting to continue this is because separate from there's something seems like it's flying right here separate from your feelings Virgo I'm sorry separate from the person that that's in your energy's feeling this is I feel like this is predominantly your energy feelings present moment I feel like because we're entering into Virgo season we are here we're present moment here happy birthday to us because my birthday is on August 29th of course so I'm a Virgo <laughs> and I'm ready to celebrate <laughs> all right so you know with every year that we get we're so blessed so blessed and so thankful to be here for just one more year in itself all right so here we have uncontrolled feelings i feel like right now for a lot of virgos our emotions are just kind of all over the place there's so much that we are wanting and why it is is because our powers there's a power that's running through us right now and it has our emotions somewhat unstable somewhat just super maxed up it's like max condition and it's like you know how when you've had too much caffeine or you've eaten too much sugar you're just kind of like all over the place kind of like jewelry and stuff like that that's what I'm getting in this energy that's what I'm getting in this energy but I'm also getting like a heart palpitation in the same breath. Why I say that is because there's something here that I feel that you feel is being hidden from you. There's someone in your energy that you feel is holding a secret of some sort. You know, I'm definitely getting, there's someone in your energy that you do not trust. And you know, the thing about it is with Virgos, we don't like not knowing what's going on. We don't like people coming into our energy to use and misuse our good nature because we are inherently good people we don't we don't go out to hurt people to deceive people to lie to people but for some apparent reason people keep wanting to come and play with us people keep wanting to come within our energy and throw us off course okay and i'm definitely getting that here i'm definitely getting that is a part of why your emotions may be somewhat all over the place right now because there's something unknown to you there's something that it's out of your control virgos don't like to be out of control virgos don't like to be able to control their surroundings so when there's something when there's something here that we don't know you know that drives us crazy why because we can't fix it you see that we we, we always want to fix everything so and when we don't know about it then how are we to fix it that's our first thought well how am i how am i supposed to fix this how 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 was i supposed to know that there was an issue if you wouldn't actually if, if you haven't actually expressed this that message is meant for someone guys take it as it resonates and let me know in the comments okay do not try and make this fit into your life but i'm definitely getting this is your energy virgo your emotions is all over the place let me know because some of you guys may not want to admit it you may think oh all is well i am magnificent life is wonderful yeah while well, life may be nice life may be nice but there's something nagging at you i feel it I feel it. there's something nagging at you because there's something that you don't know. All right, Holy Spirit, show us what we need to see for Virgo. Okay, perseverance, service. Hmm. Don't like that. Somebody may somebody may be in the hospital or end up in the hospital. Somebody may have health issues. I definitely am getting for some of you guys. Somebody may be. Somebody may have left your life. 
completion. Hmm. For some of you guys, you may be losing someone that you really love. You may be really and truly losing, losing someone that you really love. For some of you guys, somebody may have catfished you. I'm definitely getting that's probably for some of you guys, somebody may have catfished you because I have facade here at the bottom of the deck and I see perseverance. Well, yes, you're going to persevere, persevere over it. I see your friends and your family. People are going to be connecting, but I'm definitely getting in this energy that for some of you guys, there's something here that you're not seeing. Somebody's health is not so well. This person may be in the hospital or this person may end up in the hospital, but they're keeping the secret. And for some of you guys, you may lose that loved one. Why? Because I'm definitely getting service here, which somebody being in a hospital, I'm also getting completion. So you may be losing someone very near and dear to you. That message is meant for someone. There's going to be a lot of sadness. Let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm getting a wife losing her husband. So sorry to hear this. Um, yeah. All right. Moving on from that. There is something that is ending. There's a completion here. There's a need for this ending, though. I feel like for some of you guys, this is someone may have left your life. This is a past connection. You may have been married to someone and that person may have left you for someone else. Spirit is saying that you should not take this person back. You're going to do whatever you want to do. But there is this is where your this is why your emotions are all over the place. And this person is keeping secrets from you. This person was keeping secrets from you until they left you. Yeah, this person was keeping secrets until they left you. But I feel like, you know, there's a need for you to let this go. You're going to do what you want, but there's a need for you to let this go. Yeah, for some of you guys, this could be the secret. Whereas somebody you're in a connection with will be leaving you for someone else. You know, and the thing about it is, I feel like you know this. For some of you guys, you've spoke to your friends about this already. And you're trying to figure out, I feel like for some of you guys, that's why you're here with me today. Because you're trying to figure out what's going on. Because you know you have an inkling. There's something tugging at your heart. You know that this, there's a secret here. And you're trying to get ahead of it. But, you know, this person is going to be leaving you. Yes, for someone else, from what I'm seeing, for some of you guys, this person will be leaving you because they have no choice because they've been sick and they've been keeping this a secret. And it's and they're going to be moving on to God himself. So sorry for that lost. But there's something here. There's a secret that is that's going to sh uh, that's going to change your life. And the thing about it is for you guys who have this tug at your heart and, you know, because I'm feeling it, I feel it. It's like my brain feels like it's about to burst when I get these and then it goes down to my heart and when I get this feeling is that there's somebody here in this energy and you know I'm talking to you because you feel it as I'm feeling it you're feeling it and your emotions are all over the place and you're crying secretly by yourself or with your friends and your f family members and you're like, what, what, what do I do? Like, you know that there's something wrong. I feel like for some of you guys, you know that there is something wrong. And the inevitable is going to happen. You can try and dodge the inevitable, but the inevitable is going to happen. That message is meant for someone. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Hmm. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. But free yourself came out in the reverse. Then we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. Somebody is married. And they have not told you. 
For some of you guys, that is the secret. You have just found out that somebody that you've been in a connection with is married and you find it very hard to free yourself. That message is meant for someone. It's going to end. Just know that it's going to end. It may not be what you want, but it's going to end. You're delaying the inevitable. That's what I'm getting here. I see something new coming towards you. And when I say that, I'm not saying, oh, a new relationship or a new love connection. I just see something. I feel like there's going to be someone here that's going to be coming into your energy that's going to help you heal. They can come towards you as a friend. But they're definitely going to come in and I feel like they're going to offer you a companionship. Because somebody here is going to need it. Somebody here in this energy is going to need it because I see a lot of sadness. Yes, you're going to persevere. You're going to persevere. You're going to get past it. But you know, this message is meant for someone. Because you know, I picked up when I picked up these two cards in the last reading, I felt the energy here. So I said, let's let's do let's 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 revise this. Let's get into this a little bit more. Because there's something tugging at someone's heart because they know that something's wrong. They know that somebody's being dishonest somebody's keeping some type of secret there's something that's being held back from them or somebody may have just found out this but there's something here i feel there's something here i know there's something here all right let's see let's see if we can get you guys a little bit more clarity Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. For Virgo. These cards are the hardest cards to shuffle. I'm definitely getting for some of you guys there's somebody here in your energy that they may be sick but they're gonna be okay there's somebody here that may end up in the hospital yes but I feel like for some of you guys whoever this is there whatever this is they've caught it on time I'm definitely getting that here all right for some of you guys all right so we have Cobwell protected from negative forces beyond your control you're protected. You're protected. And I feel like you know what this the, the first sign of your protection is you being here with me. Why? Because people can be deceitful. People can try and deceive you. But if you have your if you have God, if you have your divine Holy Spirit, you have whoever you believe in, your angels, if you have them working on your side, none of the other stuff matters. You know, if you have faith in the divine himself, none of this other stuff matters. We go through phases. The one constant in life is change. That's our one most constant is change. But just keep the faith that everything will work in, work itself out. And then that, that, that's what's going to happen because you're manifesting, it, you're manifesting it into existence. You see that? You're speaking it into existence. We have the sun. It says happiness and well-being. So you definitely have happiness and well-being surrounding you. You may, right now, your emotions and everything may be unstable. Right now, there may be some trickery. Right now, there may be someone in your energy that's keeping secrets. But you know what? They won't be around for long. No. For some of you guys, there someone came into your life or someone exited your life in the month of July. For some of you guys, you may be meeting someone in july coming which is a long time from now holy spirit <laughs> all right ring a marriage will take place either romantic or business yeah for some of you guys you could be getting married for some of you guys that could be the secret for some of you guys because we definitely did see wedding as well for some of you guys somebody's coming in and proposing marriage to you you don't know that right now 
I feel like for some of you guys, this is somebody that you may have, you may not be communicating with right now, but this person has made a decision that you are the one. And I see happiness and well-being here. That's what I'm getting. For some of you guys, you may be marrying this person in the month of July. Mm-hmm. But then lastly, I see rooster. It says an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. There's always somebody stupid in our energy. There's always that one person that's stupid in our energy. Who's this person? Let's just see. We're not even going to get into this, but who's this arrogant and boastful person, Holy Spirit? Show me. All right. So we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse and the Six of Wands. Of course, someone that wants to come in slow. They, the person, they do not have what it takes to be in a connection with you whereas they don't have anything to offer you present moment it could definitely be somebody that you may have felt you may have been in conflict with at some point in time this person came at you i feel like this person may have came at you sideways at some point in time this person wants to come in and they want to have victory and success with you so you're definitely going to have somebody that's going to be coming your way this person could be a little bit younger than you and you're going to know who this is because this person at some point in time, you and this person, you were at odds. But you did pick up on this person's arrogant arrogance. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that here. Somebody that really thought highly of themselves. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you may have felt that you were in competition for. Yeah, that person's coming back towards you because they want success and victory. But they're coming back as the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't have much to offer you. They don't have much to offer you at all. When I say that to you, you know exactly who I'm talking about, huh, Virgo? Yeah, this person don't have much to offer you at all. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, all right, let's see. Let's see what Spirit's advice for you. Show me, Holy Spirit. Show me. fruition just keep manifesting what it is that you want in your life you have the right now is the time your energy is at max power virgo focus on what it is that you want in your life don't focus on the negativity don't focus on the stupid people focus on what you want so you can get that into your life that's where your focus should be the spirit is saying that whatever you manifest will come to fruition in due time in divine timing that's where your focus needs to be Spirit is saying for you to get grounded. Try and bring balance back into your life. You know, yes, the people are going to always come towards you with their foolishness. Whatever does not serve you, you need to exit it from your life. Whatever does not make you happy, you need to exit it from your life. Whatever doesn't help you grow in life, you need to exit, exit it from your life. That message is meant for someone. All right, my loves, this is where I will leave you all. L like, share, comment. Let me know in the comments, okay? Subscribe if you have not yet. Until next time, Virgo. Bye-bye.